horror fans are some of the most dedicated fans out there. People gather at conventions, auctions, and trade online for rare delicacies to add to their horror collections. My name is Mike with Sinister Station, and here are some of the all-time most expensive pieces of horror movie memorabilia. The Zuni Doll from Trilogy of Terror the almost 50-year-old cult classic first aired in 1975 as a made-for-TV horror movie and was comprised of three separate horror stories. The most memorable tale starred an Oscar-nominated actress Karen Black as a woman who is terrorized by a doll who is possessed by an ancient hunter with the name of He Who Kills. Standing only 13 inches tall, the Zuni Hunter doll from Trilogy of Terror sold back in December 2019 for $200,000 at an auction after having only an estimate of twelve dollars to $15,000. Did the oven rid the vengeful spirit of he who kills? Or did the spirit find a new home as portrayed in the tale? Supposedly, there were three to four dolls made, so whoever paid the big bucks for this doll at the auction should probably sleep with one eye open. Ripley's Spacesuit from Alien Most sci-fi and horror fans can agree that Ellen Ripley is one of, if not the greatest female protagonist in all of science fiction history. Ripley was a civilian advisor to the United States Colonial Marine Corps, a lieutenant first class, and came face to face with Xenomorph XX-121, or the alien, who was destroyed everything and everyone in its path until the alien finally met its match. The spacesuit was purchased at an auction in 2018 during Profiles in History's Icons and Legends in Hollywood for a whopping $204,800. Let's hope the buyer holds on to this in case we find something in space that poses a threat similar to what we witnessed back in 1979. Jack Torrance's Axe from The Shining an axe used by Jack Nicholson in the film was up for an auction in 2022 through Gotta Have Rock and Roll Auction House with bids that started at $60,000. The axe came with a certificate of authenticity and a letter from Norick Engineering, engineers to the film, television, and entertainment industry, dated June 8, 1989, that certified the use of the prop in the film. The axe was displayed in a shadow box frame with images from the original movie. It was believed that this specific axe on auction was made of foam and is one of a reported four axes from the movie in existence. A similar foam axe used in the production of the movie sold for $57,600 in 2021, while a wooden axe went for $211,000 in 2019. The T-800 full-scale model from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The first Terminator robot was made of plastic with a metallic finish applied to get the chrome look we all know and love. While shooting the first movie, that process was found to not be the best because the material chipped very easily. You can imagine it not holding up so well after all the action sequences bashing pieces of plastic through walls. The production crew patched the puppets together with paint and tinfoil to try to hide where the metallic finish had flaked off. For Judgment Day, the second movie, the crew used an actual chroming process for making the endoskeleton. Using a heavier material that was more durable and more authentic looking, James Cameron and his team created a life-size model of the now famous T-800 Terminator skeleton. A full-scale chrome processed T-800 endoskeleton used in the opening scene sold for $488,750 at a California auction in 2007, complete with real metal feet and red glowing eyes. The remaining items on this list are all comprised of movie posters. We have ranges from $244,500 all the way up to over $500,000. I'm going to display these now. The first one was the original King Kong poster from 1933 selling for $244,500. 
The next expensive was the Bride of Frankenstein poster from 1935. It sold for a whopping $358,000. The next poster we have is the original Mummy poster from 1932. This one sold for $478,000. And one of the most expensive posters we could find was the original Dracula poster from Dracula 1931, which sold for $525,000. We all love movie posters, but I think I'll stick to Amazon and buy those $20 to $30 posters and uh, let these big time fans have their big dollar posters on their walls. What do you say? If there are any other expensive horror props, posters, or memorabilia that we missed, please let us know in the comments. Also, let us know of some of your favorite horror pieces that you own or need in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help us out a lot. We also are on most social media platforms. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, and feel free to follow us there for all of our updates and posts. We create custom horror movie merchandise that we sell online at our Etsy page, so check that out too. We will be vendors at upcoming horror conventions as well, so if that's your thing, look for us and don't hesitate to stop by and say hi. Thank you for watching everyone. Only 118 more days until Halloween.